I'm gonna talk now about the Plan B pill, and I'm gonna try to keep this thing actually talking about the pill and not all the other issues that usually get tangled up in with it. Plan B, which for those few of you who might not know what it is, is a pregnancy prevention pill that can be taken within 72 hours of intercourse to stop pregnancy from occurring commonly called the morning after pill. But, as I noted, there's so many other issues that go into this. And before I talk about the very recent news that happened with the Plan B pill, I want to take a moment to sort of point out those other issues and why I'm not talking about them, despite the fact they're so often linked, which is underage pregnancy and parental consent. These issues pretty much go hand in hand when you talk about Plan B because, well, when you have the demagogues trying to talk about how awful it is, they usually bring up the, like, 15 and pregnant situation and how it's used to hide sex and all that stuff, and it becomes an issue, even though, in my opinion, the two don't have to be linked and perhaps even shouldn't be linked. But that's all aside for now. I'll do another video on that. But what happened here was the courts decided to overturn a requirement for there to be a prescription needed for girls under the age of 18 to get the pill. So now they can go over the counter and get the pill, and they can prevent pregnancy. That's where it's at right now. Of course, it's going to be appealed, and there's no final say on it yet, but I'm of two minds on that. And my initial gut response is to be like, hell yeah, that's good, you know. We're giving more reproductive rights to women. We're helping girls who are under the age of 18 who might have made a mistake or something or a bad decision were helping them not have to deal with that for the rest of their lives and I'm all for that but then another part of my brain kicks in with some more rational thoughts to it where while it is a good thing I won't besmirch that at all that it this has happened it's it's a can of worms there is the fact that this is a highly potent medical pill you're taking it's progesterone and it interferes with body chemistry to do what it does on a fundamental level. That, that can't be put aside or ignored. And having a medical professional there to watch everything and to make sure that nothing goes wrong or that there's not some kind of abuse going on or something is often, I would say, a very valuable tool. But of course there's the other side to it too, and I clearly get that, where girls have to deal with these people and maybe they can't get access to it because of religious reasons because their people who prescribe it won't do it or any number of reasons and having it not on prescription frees up a lot of these restrictions and it allows girls to have an option which again I'm all for but medically speaking I'm not all for the idea of it just being taken without prescription over the counter for as potent as it is and what it does Again, I really want to stress this point. I'm not taking this to the issue of like underage girls getting pregnant. I'm not even addressing that here. Accepting that that happens, there does need to be a recourse. There does need to be solutions that don't just include screwing the girl's life up forever. Like, that needs to exist. And the pill is a really good option for that. But I feel like that without medical safeguards, there is the potential for adverse reactions. You could have girls that just, whenever they do have sex, they just use the pill. I mean, it's not the most cost-effective thing, but that could happen, and it could lead to medical complications. And That's not a reason to ban it or force prescriptions on it, but it is a reason to have a talk about the pill, and not one framed around all of these greater social issues that people are using it as a champion for. No, we need to actually talk about the pill, what it does, why it should be available, and the costs and consequences of it being available. And we need to have that kind of a discussion without bringing in all of the greater social issues for once. Just, let's talk about the pill, why it's there, what it does, and what we need to do about it. Just something to think about.